Hey there, everybody. Um, doing this video just to show what I'm doing right now with my terrain. I'm working on this Tyranid Spire, and it's it's quite large. I think this is just about as big as I'm going to go with it. I, I see people doing four foot tall ones, and honestly, I can't stand that. This one is pretty tall. I just wanted to see what I could do. And obviously, it's not finished. I want to do green stuff in all here, and I want to sand that. The last time I showed you it, it wasn't all sanded. Now it's all smooth for the most part. I don't want it to be perfect because it's in the middle of a battle. So I figure gunshots or whatever hitting it um, would damage it up. Also, one thing I added since the last time you saw it would be the base. This base, or this material, is great for terrain bases. It is a bit thick, granted, but... It is wonderful, especially if you're using foam like this, because this foam isn't heavy. It's very light, and it will just blow off, you know, just blow away. So, these bases are really heavy. I mean, gives it enough weight. It's pretty sturdy. Oh, and here is the, I wanted to show you, the glue I used. Because, obviously, super glue doesn't work for foam. Um, it's called Goop, Amazing Goop. I just grabbed it from Walmart in the craft section. Um, and as you can see, it one thing about it is it does take a long time to dry. And it smells horrible, so make sure you have a window open or something. This was just me testing to make sure it would stick and it wouldn't eat away the foam and the base material I don't really know what it is but here is a big piece of it that I have um, it came in a box for um, a pool table so and then as you saw on the ground this is a moving sign moving sail I guess sign and it's plastic hard, but it's pretty thick, and I can use this for many different things. I don't know quite yet, I just wanted to test it. Another piece of terrain I'm working on are these little trees to make my own version of a citadel wood. Now, I'm not a cheapo. The citadel wood isn't that expensive, I just don't like... I like... I love it because it looks great, but I don't like how two-dimensional they are. I like these because they have different, obviously they have different branches that go every which way, and they're wire, so I can actually position them any way I want. Now I did cut them down to make them shorter because they were this tall, which if you can see it's very tall compared to a regular guy, super huge. Um, so I did cut them down. They're still a bit big, but I, I like it so they can cover big models like him and it, and it still could be plausible that he gets cover from that and I don't know quite what I'm going to do with them yet I'm going to well, again paste them to a base like this but I'm going to make a bigger base obviously out of that jigsaw use a jigsaw and cut it and um, so yeah here's another different train piece that I'm working on is this As you can see I cut it it's just a like a it was a tomato soup can and um, it's like a it could be something I don't know like a little industrial like a one of those big cement soothing sewer sewage pipes and any any smaller infantry models can fit here's one of my Green Knight Terminators and see they fit really nicely in there so it's pretty nice um, I think maybe even a Dreadnought might be able to fit well he would be able to fit if it wasn't for this tall piece right here so anyways 
that's it. I just wanted to show you what I was working on with terrain. I haven't really been working on my Tyranids the last couple days because I finished my Captain America. As in the last video, he turned out really nice. And, um, so yeah. That's pretty much it. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.